Hi guys, Fu from FoxTech. In this video, I will show you how to link the FoxTech Screamer 250 to your computer for setting all the parameters and the PID values. Although we supply the Screamer 250 with the RDF set, meaning we have this own radio with it already uh, set it and already ready to fly, but everybody has its favorite radio like this is my foot 14 SG, it's my favorite radio. And I'm quite familiar with the control feeling, so I'm going to show you how to link the 14SG with the Screamer 250 and how to set the parameters. And before you do anything else, just to make sure you remove all the propellers, including the tail motor propellers uh, down, because you may accidentally activate the propeller, so it can be potentially dangerous. And we just uh, remove all the propellers. Next step is to connect a USB cable with your 250 right here. And you may also want to turn on the radio and also link the batteries. I have already downloaded the clean flight from the Google Chrome. So it's like this. I just connect, click on the connect and it is connected to the my, my computer for the parameter setting. And if you just got your Screamer 250, don't forget to calibrate the accelerometer. So this will make sure your, uh, your quadcopter is perfectly leveled in real life and also in the computer. Next step is take a look at the configuration. It's a quad X type. Uh, we didn't turn on the motor, motor stop because we want a professional user to like it. And we turn on the one shot one, one to five for very uh, aggressive fly. And uh, please make sure you can, you can see here, we turn on actually the S bus function. Uh, because we only use the one wire, one signal wire from between the flight control and also the, the receiver, the radio receiver. And uh, we are using the TFR8 SB. Uh, this is the receiver produced by Air Sky and it's uh, perfectly compatible with the football radio. And it has the SBAS and PWM signal output at, at the same time. So I just connect the SBAS one wire to the flight control, then I have all the channels activated in my computer right here. You can see other channels can, can move. Because we have another tail motor, the tail motor has no relationship with the flight control, so you can assign one channel on your radio, for example, the channel 6 like I'm using now. I just assign the channel 6 to the side slider. Yeah, so assign one channel for the tail motor and just uh, have a servo wire directly linking the tail motor ESC to the receiver. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to set the parameters. Um, here we just uh, enter the PID setting right here. The PID setting, we use the LUX float. This is a PID controller, we choose it and we set the parameters right here. Uh, I'm going, going to do some uh, screenshot so you can see how I set the parameters. And don't forget to save the parameters once you change them. If you find uh, uh, no matter the raw pitch or raw to being too aggressive, you can reduce the rate right here. And if you find they are shaking in the fly, you can reduce the p-value. Um, Oh, okay, anyway, uh, everybody has this favorite setting for PID, so uh, actually you have to test a few times to find the perfect PID for your Screamer 250. And then we go to the mode setting. 
Actually, I, I set I set a arm switch. I use the channel six for the arm switch and assign the channel six to the SF on on the radio. And you can see if I turn the switch, the motor will start to spin. And what's the benefit to use the arm switch? And actually, you can you can actually uh, use uh, your rudder uh, push the rudder to the right to activate the uh, a motor, but uh, we are going to show you how to use the air mode. The air mode is very important for the very aggressive uh, fly in the race. So I'm going to show you how to uh, do the par parameter basic setting. Actually, you can see I assigned the MISC channel to the mode switch. You can see how it works right here. And I put the up and the middle position to the horizon and uh, you can you can fly in horizon mode and it will fly like maybe always to try to compensate itself uh, to the level position and the lowest position is actually the manual mode if you want to fly fast and without any boundary you must use the manual mode like this and you can also try to turn on the uh, angle mode, uh, but um, I don't suggest to use it because its uh, compensate rate is very high. I don't like it. And okay, I'm going to show you how to use the air mode. Now I'm going to add the air mode to my mode switch. So now I'm going to change the middle position to manual mode and the lower position to the air mode. The air mode, what does air mode uh, do? Air mode keeps the full control even with the lowest throttle. So to use the air mode, you, are, you always have to keep the throttle the, to a little bit higher than the allowed uh, lowest position. You can see here, the, actually the lowest position of the throttle is 101 is the 1018 is a little bit higher than uh, suggested value and the suggested value is uh, 990 to 1000 but I put it higher for the air model. Uh, I'm going to show you how the air model mode, uh, our air model is actually working. Um, first we are going to activate the mode. You can see in air mode I can control the rudder without any problem. So even with the lowest position of my throttle, I still have the full control. And do not land or take off with the air mode. Sorry, I didn't save. Uh, let's try again. Uh, set the air mode to the lower position, and we click the save. And active the motor. You can hear the motor is actually shaking a bit in the air mode. Sounds different in manual mode. So the, the air mode is a very aggressive mode. If you turn on the air mode, you can do whatever movement you want in the air, and your quadcopter is still under full control. Okay, we, we save it. It's uh, for the professional users. Use, uh, use the switch to turn and turn off the motors and use the horizon, manual, and air mode for the mode switch. And uh, what you have also to pay attention is uh, we actually turn the flight control 180 degrees in the yaw. So uh, you always don't forget to turn to set its value to 180. It's very important. OK, I uh, assume this uh, everything. Uh, just to make sure you set all the parameters correctly, and good luck with your fly. OK, guys, so we just uh, set the parameters, and now I'm going to show you how to fly with the three mode. And firstly, we turn on the arm switch, uh, starting with the, uh, uh, with the horizon mode. You can find the horizon mode actually uh, the quadcopter is going to compensate your move. It's always trying to go back to level position. And it's really helpful for the 
amateur, for the starters, because uh, it always helps you to find the level position. And uh, you can also do the 3D in, in this mode. And sometimes it's, it's a little bit easier in, than do in, in the uh, manual mode or in, in air mode. But I'm professional, so I'm going to turn on the angle mode first. No, sorry. I'm going to turn on the manual mode first. And you can see in this mode, the counter the, the screamer, is not going to compensate. It's just to keep, keep the position, uh, keep the angle, just uh, trying to keep the angle. And uh, let's now let's try the most aggressive mode, the air mode. The air mode is uh, for the 3D, so the, you can always control the screamer in the air. Okay, air mode on, let's try the movement. You can see it's still under full control while doing a back slip. Even I reduce my I reduce my throttle to the lowest point, it's still under control. Yeah, I can find a screamer 250 is with a great power. Let's try some fast move. And now we can active the tail motor. Uh, if you activate them slowly, the tail motor will help you to fly with a very gentle speed. You can see the how easy to control the altitude in this mode. Let's give a little bit more throttle on the tail motor. You can find it's uh, kind of easy. Oh. And easy to, to fly at a like, very low altitude. You can find it's truly easy to maintain the altitude because you don't have to tilt too much. And you can do some very interesting movement with the tail motor like this. Yeah, because the tail motor is uh, truly powerful, you can even launch the screamer like a rocket. <coughs> Sounds nice, right? And the air mode also helps you to maintain the stability with the tail motor running. And so you can do some very nice movement, like just like a fixed wing with the Screamer 250. I'm going to try some high-speed flying with the tail motor. Yeah. 